Hey guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my channel. How are you? So as some of you may know, around about a month or so ago, right before I moved house, I actually went on holiday with Ollie to Turkey for a week, had the best time ever. I barely posted anything about it online, I just had like a full on chilled week, but I did post one picture from when I was out there and it got a lot of love. There was this guy here looking all, looking all serious and sensual. But yeah, I posted this picture, not really thinking too much of it and it's ended up being like one of my most popular pictures on Instagram. Is that that meme here? But yeah, you guys seem to really like that makeup look. Like I'm literally just scrolling through the comments now and everyone's saying like, can you please do a, a tutorial on your holiday makeup look? How do you do your skin like that? How do you get your eyebrows like that? What skin is this? You guys are so nice to me. So yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I created that makeup look. It literally took me like 10 minutes and lasted like pretty much the whole day when I was in like 35 degree heat. <laughs> it was very hot, very, very sweaty. So I'm gonna show you guys all the techniques that I use, all the different products that I use, literally every single thing that I used for that look I'm gonna be using today, apart from one thing, which I actually now prefer compared to the product that I was using on holiday, which has now run out and is a little bit crispy, which is this guy here, it's the Iconic London Brow Silk Kit. So you get this in the kit as well as this brush. No, it's not a toothbrush. I thought the exact same thing as you when I first opened this, I was like, what the hell? But this, way better than a spoolie. I've been trialing this bad boy for the past week or so because honestly, like I wasn't 100% sure I was looking at it like, what is this? But this stuff is sick. It gives you like those really Instagrammable brows, you know, the ones that are like super fluffy, kind of werewolfy, but I kind of love it. Like, I'm just looking at my brows are a little bit fluffy in that photo. There's my eyeball. Yeah, they're a little bit fluffy, but like this stuff makes your brows like, I'm actually gonna show you guys now because in this makeup look, you're not gonna get like the full effect of like the fluffy brows. So I'm just gonna show you quickly. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my prep set and glow. Iconic hooked me up with a brand new one. Thank you so much. Now you can use the brow silk wet or dry, but I find it works a whole lot better if you use it wet. So I'm just gonna spray my little toothbrush friend with that and then just go around the actual product like that. And you can see it does just like pick up a little bit there and like wait for it. Like literally look at that. And it doesn't go like crispy. It doesn't feel sticky. But like, I don't know why this works so much better over a spoolie. It just seems to like separate them and make them look extra fluffy. You also get time to like play around with it. It's not like one of those things that dries down instantly because I love like brow gels that do dry down. Look at me with my mental eyebrow. I love brow gels that like dry down and go like solid, but sometimes I find that they can go solid like too quickly. Whereas this, you do still have time to like play around with it. So obviously if it's your kind of thing, you can go for like the full on Instagram feather brow or you can just do like your normal brow and just brush them up and smooth them out. I swear it makes my brows look thicker as well. Like just thicker here. I don't know, I feel like today I'm gonna go like somewhere in the middle, not like full on like feathers and not like super sleek. What's the opposite of feathers? Worms? That's not the opposite at all, but I'm gonna roll with it anyway. Not worms, just, just roll with me here. Not worms, not fluffy chicken feathers, just somewhere in the middle. I need to stop talking. Let's just get into the video. So first of all, gotta chuck on some beautiful ears. Gotta be done. So I've already gone ahead and prime my face. I just put moisturizer on. That was all I was doing on holiday. Just put on a little bit of SPF. You're good to go. So I've already primed my face. Not gonna be using foundation. Didn't use any foundation when I was away on holiday. I just like added more concealer for days that I wanted more coverage. So I love how I was literally just like boasting about the fact that I didn't use foundation. Like, oh, I only use concealer, but I use two concealers. So it kind of like, Kind of defeats the purpose a little bit, but it works. So I'm just gonna carry on doing it. So first of all, I'm gonna use It Cosmetics by My Under Eye and my eyeballs. Just get rid of those bags. I also find this works as well over any spots. It's like so full coverage that if you just tap it on over any spots, they just go uh, bye bye. So I actually didn't bring any foundation by accident, but by the end of the trip, I was actually kind of loving not wearing foundation. I know, I don't know who I am anymore. Ta-da! So then, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I'm using the shade Light Beige. And I did like a little one of these over on my forehead. I did a little bit more under my eyes. And I basically applied this like foundation, to be fair, I did. But we're still gonna call it like natural, naturalish makeup because it's still a whole lot less than I would normally wear. And then I just kind of went around my jawline and on the outside of my face. And I kind of just like blended it all in. Just like, yeah, just basically blended it all in to be honest. I'm just gonna 
press that in my skin with a booty blender. Just so it's like a very, very thin layer, just to kind of make my skin look a little bit more perfect. So then I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm gonna take the tiniest amount. I'm literally gonna take like, I'm taking this much, but I'm gonna swirl that in the lid and tap off like pretty much all the excess. I find that if you're in hot weather or if like the sun's out and your makeup tends to like melt off your face, just like kind of roll with it. Like don't try and combat it by piling on loads and loads and loads and then like loads of powder and just loads and loads of layers. Just kind of like let it do its thing. Like embrace the slight sweatiness because a lot of you guys when I was on Instagram live and stuff, you were like, what highlight are you wearing? And half the time, I was just sweating buckets. Obviously do whatever the hell works for you. But personally, I just like to powder down a little bit less when I'm in a hot country and I just kind of like, just embrace the moistness, you know? So yeah, I'm taking the tiniest little bit of powder for under my eyes. These are like the main areas I'll set. So I'll do like under my eyes and a little bit on my nose. And again, I'm just taking from the lid. So I'm not taking any more powder that I took before. Just going back in the lid and just make sure my under eyes are just a little bit set. Just so they're not gonna like run away from me. And then probably the most powder that I put on my face was like on my forehead just here because I find that as long as that bit looks kind of like matte then you don't look that sweaty like I don't mind being shiny here or here or top lip or nose anywhere that I put highlighter which let's face it is like over my entire face half the time the only place I don't really put it is like smack bang in the middle of my forehead and also on my chin so I just make sure I powder down a little bit more around there and then just took a big fat fluffy brush took whatever was left in that lid Barely anything left at all. And uh, just set the rest of my face. Literally just so it's kind of like locked in. So then for a little bit of contour, again, another fave. This literally goes everywhere with me. My Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. I'm just gonna sculpt in some cheekbones there. Little tip, if you're one of those people that tend to powder down a lot and you're not really sure how to apply like a bronzer or something over foundation that's not been powdered down too much, just tap it in instead of like sweeping because you might move your concealer around a little bit. Just kind of like tap it in your face and it'll also just like lock everything in place as well. And then to make it look a little bit more skin like again, I would just go back over with my damp beauty blender or even my brush or whatever and just kind of press it in. I then just took a little eyeshadow brush, just like a standard fluffy one and did a little bit of nose contouring. Not every night. Sometimes I just like treated myself to a little bit of like a Superficial nose job. And then just do my usual, pop it in the crease, pop it under my lash line. Nothing super smoky, it's mostly just to like define my eyes a bit. Then just to bronze myself up a little bit more, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Back to Bronze bronzer. I didn't wear any blusher or anything like that on this trip. I literally just like, if I want a color, I would just cake myself in bronzer. And also like this bronzer's not too like in your face. So as I was kind of getting darker and darker, this started to get a little bit too light for me. So I literally like kind of just like powder down my whole face and it actually worked surprisingly. Remember the first night I was doing it, I was like, this could be a mistake. But yeah, I would just kind of go over my nose. And then sometimes if I wanted to be really wild, I would put my bronzer on my lid. I know, wild. Just try and stop me. Then for highlighter, if you are new here, welcome. This is the Kiko 208 eyeshadow, but trust me, it's like the best highlighter. It's so good. Like, look at this for you, Cuba's bow. It's like full on, like, milk mustache. Like, I've just chugged like 12 pints of milk and I ain't even mad about it. So I'm just gonna dot some of that on my nose. And I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and layer that all over my face. It's the best. And then take a teeny tiny little pencil brush and just pop that on the inner corner. Try not to poke myself in the eye. And also under my brow. Cat hairs everywhere. Then for lashes, I was using the Benefit Their Real Mascara purely because like, it's not waterproof, but like it may as well be. This stuff just does not budge. And I think, yeah, so I was only wearing that on my top lashes. I don't know, I feel like just doing your top lashes sometimes is a lot more fresh. All of this, by the way, like I could take all of this on my hand luggage as well. Cause I know when I was on the flight, like on the way there, I put makeup on as well because I was bored and I thought, why the hell not? Um, so yeah, like all of this stuff did kind of like, all the liquids fit into like the little liquid bag and then I could just take a few of the powders as well. So it does work if you like, if you do want to put your makeup on on the flight, you can. So then for my brows, I'm just going to add in a few little hair strokes. I'm just going to use the Iconic London Brow Cushion and just do a few little strokes up there. Just a little bit on the arch, like nothing major. In fact, it's barely even noticeable what I'm doing, but it just makes me feel better, you know? Sometimes you just gotta please yourself. And then also just like 
straighten them up underneath. And then we'll dip back into the silk brow kit. So again, I'm gonna take the brush and I'm just gonna wet that, give it a little once over. And I'm gonna spike them up a bit. Not like crazy, but just, just a little touch. And I'm just gonna brush them upwards. Not like, not like we did the first time, but just so there's a little bit of texture at the front still. I just love it because it's not sticky at all. It doesn't look crispy, it doesn't look crusty. It's almost like kind of like moisturizes your eyebrows a little bit, but like still makes them look fluffy. I don't really understand it to be honest. So yeah, I'm just gonna fluff those up at the front. And then as I kind of get to the mid part of my brow, I'm just gonna start to slick it down a bit. And then again, so on this side. Like the way that my brows are feathered at the front there, I can never get it to look like that with a normal brow gel. Just cause it always looks crusty or like too like wet and spiky. This just looks like really feathery and like they actually kind of grow that way. Oh, I just love the feathery brow look. You know what, screw it. I'm actually gonna spike them up just a touch more. Then I'm gonna take the brow cushion again. I would use Freck, but I lost it. I mentioned this on Twitter, I lost Freck which like, it was inevitable because it's like this big. But yeah, I've lost it, no idea where it is. Lost it a while ago and I can't bring myself to buy another one. I want to, but I just can't do it. Just can't do it, so I've been using this again recently. So I'm just gonna take the little tip of the brush and just dot some little freckles on and then kind of lock them in like that. The only thing I will say with this, if you are gonna use it as freckles, don't like do your whole face and then try and tap it in. Work in like little sections, otherwise it will just look really, really blocky. So like I tend to do like five or six little dots and then just kind of overlap them with my finger. And then I just take my beauty blender again and just make sure they're like all pressed in the skin. So then for lips, I'm gonna be using this lip liner from NYX. It is in the shade Lima. It's quite like a, quite like a dark brown. And I'm just gonna overline my lips there. I like rediscovered my love for a dark lip liner when I was in Turkey. I then took my Jamie Genevieve MAC lipstick and just filled in my lips with that. And just kind of like tapped all that in. And then because you guys know I love making a nude lipstick, even nuder, I'm gonna take a little bit more concealer and just tap that in the center and just kind of create a little ombre. And what I like to do is just like blot it on my hands so it kind of like stays. And then a little bit of setting spray. And by that, obviously I mean I'm gonna like drown myself in it. Take off the ears and we're done. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know some of you have been asking for it for a little while now. Sorry it took me so long, but Hope you enjoyed it. As always, I will make sure to include everything that I featured in today's video in the description box right down there. Like honestly, I know I am working with Iconic London for a portion of this video, but this stuff is just like one of my new favorite things for my brows. I'm not kidding. So if you, if you are in the market for something new for your brows, if you like a feathery brow, link down below. If you guys did enjoy this video, as always, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. Let me know if there's anywhere you guys are going in particular for your holidays this summer. I might be making a little trip to Mykonos very soon, in a couple of weeks. Very excited. So yeah, let me know where you guys are going on holiday if you are, if you're not, let me know what you're doing for your summer. Also, can't believe I bloody forgot then, if you do wanna see more of me, don't forget to subscribe because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys. I feel like I spoke so fast then. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.